Kuzma tweeted, Minnesota just won the chip, followed by three laughing, crying emojis. At the same time, LeBron tweeted nothing but 10 of his own laughing emojis. Hmm. Shannon, what do you think LeBron is saying here? Well, I'm sure he thought kind of like Kuzma. I think a lot of people thought that the celebration seemed excessive. But I didn't have a problem with it, Skip, for the simple fact is it's not like Minnesota's in the playoffs every single year. Now, this Steph Curry, Klay Thompson, or Draymond doing that, I'm like, what the hell are y'all doing? Bro, y'all win the five finals, y'all got three chips. You're in the playoff damn near every year. Why, why would y'all do this? But Skip, Minnesota, this is only the second time they've been a second playoff trip. Since Kevin Durant, Kevin Durant, Kevin Garnett left in 2007. Yep. So in 15 years, this is the second time. Mm -hmm. The first time, I think, since 2018, they were in the playoffs. Come on. Cut, cut, cut the guy some slack. Mm -hmm. uh, but, uh, but isn't Pat Beverly extra? Everything Pat does, Pat Bell does is extra. Pat Bell gets a steal. You swear he just made the, the game-saving sa steal in Game 7 of the NBA Finals. Mm -hmm. That's who he is. That's how he's made it thus far with playing with that kind of energy, playing with that kind of fashion. Skip, I'm not going to beat him up also because I've seen D-Wade do the exact same thing, hitting the game-winning shot in the regular season. He jumped up on the table. So I'm not going to beat him up. But I think it was just like, you know, and plus him, they, uh, he felt the Clippers gave up on him. Um, go and knocking them out of the playoffs. I'm sure that had a lot to do with it, Skip. Mm -hmm. He said when they got there, we go into the playoffs. Yep. They ended up going, getting in the play-in tournament. Now they're going to the playoffs. Yep. So, Skip, look, I, I get it. Pat Bev is, is on a team that hadn't had a whole lot of success be it come regular season or postseason. Yep. Now he's there. They're in the postseason, and he's a large reason why, Skip. I thought he played extremely well. He did a very good job defensively on Reggie Jackson. He did a great job on Paul George when he got – because neither one of those guys were very efficient last night. No. And that steal that really sealed it for uh, him on Reggie Jackson, he played him – knew what he was going to do. He did. Played him, stuck his hand in there, got the ball out, and he was celebrating. So, Skip, I, what he was saying is, man, that seemed like an awful lot of celebration for a play-in tournament. But when you're talking about the Minnesota Timberwolves and a team that hadn't had a whole lot of – regular season or postseason success since KG left, mm -hmm. I have no problem with Pat Bev. I have a problem with he does this. <laughs> Skip, every time he does something, he does He blocks a shot, he's celebrating. He steals the ball, he's celebrating. He takes a charge, he's celebrating. Mm -hmm. He hits a three, he's celebrating. So what did you expect Pat Bev to do if he beat his former team with a chance to advance to the playoffs? Mm -hmm. What did you think, and he had a big hand in this down the stretch, Skip, with his defensive, yep. uh, 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 he, with, the, with the defensive plays that he made. So what did you think he was going to do? But I'm not going to beat him up. But I think LeBron was saying, boy, that seemed like an awful lot of celebration for a play-in tournament. But when a team that hadn't had a whole lot of success, mm. if I'm the Cincinnati Bengals, I'd have been in turning card with Once I won that first playoff game in Tennessee, mm. oh, excuse me, over the Raiders, yep. I'd have been turning card with and doing all kinds of things because it's not like they're in the playoffs all the time. Mm. So I don't have so, a problem with Pat Bev. Time out. If you don't have a problem with Pat Bev and all the T-Wolves celebrating, mm -hmm. then – the corollary to that would be you do have a big problem with LeBron's tweet. No, but, but Skip, LeBron, but see, a lot of times you can only see things through the lens of your eyes. LeBron James, like, bro, I've been to 10 of these. Yeah, I've won, I've won four of these, and I'm this and I'm a that. But what has Pat Bell got? What have Minnesota? What have they done? Nothing. Okay. But what do you always tell me on this show, almost on a daily basis, you must update your resume. Yes. What does LeBron's resume now say? They're not, they're not in the playoffs. They missed the whole shebang. Let me ask you right? a question. You think Tom Brady would do something like that? If Tom Brady missed the playoffs next year, do you actually think, and he comes back, do you actually think Tom Brady would ever put on that kind of display of celebration? Why? Because he's oh, been... Oh, I thought you meant the tweet. No, 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 the celebration. Nor, nor would he tweet the way LeBron just tweeted. Oh, tw you know, Tom Brady gets his no, tweets in. No, no, not like that. He gets a tweet in. You okay, know that. so I'm going to go slightly biblical here because you cannot throw stones when you now live in a glass house because LeBron is throwing stones from a glass house, Right. Because he missed the playoffs. Right. You, you got nothing to show except you're trying to remind everybody, hey, I'm still the king. Well, you used to be, but you're not anymore. No, Skip, Skip. <laughs> like, some people's celebrations, like, will act like you've been there. Pat Bell said, hell, we hadn't been here. 
What did he do when they introduced him to the Minnesota media way back when? Yeah, he told me we're going to the playoffs. We're going to the playoffs. And everybody took a they laugh. He's right about this. They all laughed yes. at him. Like, really? What were they last year? 23 and 49. Huh. Well, this year they went 46 and 36, and they just did that. Right. And the building reminded me back in my old days in Dallas at, at old Reunion Arena when the Dallas Mavericks were just coming of age mm -hmm. against the Lakers. And they beat the Lakers three times in a seven-game series and got to game seven at the fabulous forum against Magic and Kareem and took it right down to the wire. Right. Mark Aguirre went south on him, but that's a whole nother story. <laughs> but the point was, those days at reunion were some of the greatest days of my career because it was all new and the building just exploded right. with noise. That building exploded last night. Right. Those are good, loyal, long-standing, long-term fans who have stuck with it mostly through thin, there's right. been no thick, right? Right. So, <laughs> exactly. Uh, hey, well, 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 that was that was it. Well, they they made the playoffs last night by by vaulting all the way up to the seventh right. seed. Well, now guess what? They get to play the team that I have planted my flag on all year, the Memphis Grizzlies, and they're not going to beat Memphis. They might win a couple <laughs> of games off them because this Minnesota team is legit. Right. I'm not sure about K-A-T Carl Anthony Towns. I'm not sure what dodged, he's made of. They dodged a huge bullet last hey. night. Skip, first of all, I don't know what the hell the coach was thinking. Why would you leave Carl Anthony? He got three fouls in the first half, and you leave him in, and you see how reckless he's playing. It's almost like I'm going to sink or swim. Yeah. I'm just going to see if he can you figure almost, it out. Skip, he almost sunk. Okay, but what happened after he went out? They took off. Yeah, yeah. Maybe the coach knew something we didn't. No, Maybe no, he's no, just no. saying... If he Skip. fouls out, he fouls out. Skip, Maybe we'll take Skip, off. You dodge, you dodged a huge bullet. I think the thing was that Cat, Skip, they did a good job. They say like, we're not going to let you play one-on-one -on -one with Zubats. We're not going to let you play one-on-one -on -one with uh, uh, Batum. We're not going to let you play one-on-one. -on -one. So they bring the double team. But hell, Skip, hell, he outpassed the three-point line. It's mm. easy to double team him. Get your big butt down on the block. Mm. Skip, sometimes I think these guys, these big guys that can shoot, they just want to show what. Let me show you. I'm dirt in the biscuit. I'm, I'm dirt. And so he's hovering out there so it's yep. easy for you to double team him. Yep. And then now he's getting frustrated, Skip. He's just barreling over people like he's Derrick Henry. Okay. And furthermore, on top of all of the above, Patrick Beverly used to be a clipper. Yes. And and so give it up, LeBron. I mean, and I don't think LeBron has any love for the Clippers. And certainly they're now kindred spirits because Patrick Beverly has less love than LeBron does for the Los Angeles Clippers. Right. The team you always say is in the basement, yeah. is trying to come out of the basement. Right. And I did not think that the Clippers lost the game. I thought the T-Wolves just flat out sucked it up and made more plays and more shots and scrapped harder yeah. down the stretch than the Clippers did. Yeah, they, 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 couldn't, they okay. couldn't buy buckets late, Skip. All right. So... Do the Clippers, have they missed Patrick Beverly? A little bit, but not a lot. Right. He's better served in, in this circumstance where you took a team that has been a perennial loser right. and you showed them how to make the playoffs. Right. Because to your point, when I, when I look at the box score, man, it, it doesn't speak loudly about Patrick Beverly. If you look at what he did, <laughs> like two of eight, and and he was one a of minus, five. For yeah, he, he's minus. Yeah, one of five from three. He's a minus five for the game. He has a grand total of seven points. But what does he do? He gets eleven seven. rebounds. That yeah. leads the team. That's that's more than well. Carl Anthony was pretty pathetic on the boards. He had five total but rebounds. But Skip hit the, the the steal that he got. The the defense that he's playing. Uh, his, his 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 he's contagious. And if he's your teammate, you love him. If he's not your teammate, you're like, man, this joke annoying, man. Mm -hmm. Well, get somewhere and sit down. You see, he almost lured a small, uh, 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 Morris Senior into a tech. They gave him a tech, and he's like, oh, I thought it was uh, double, and, and, and I thought he yeah, was gone. And Malloy, like, damn, I've already, he's already got a tech. No, no, no. Let's go to the replay. And it, I mean, both of them would, they would, you know, try knocking your hand down. You know, I'm gonna put my hand here. You knock your hand down. They say Pat Bell initiated it. Yep. But. They called double tech skip, and he's like, oh, I can't do this. And he should have been gone. He, sh he should have I been gone. It. So why was Patrick Beverly gone from the Clippers? Well, do you remember how it basically ended for him? There's like oh, yeah, six <laughs> minutes left in the game. They're getting blown out at right. game six at what was still Staples Center. Yeah. And if we could see this, um, Patrick Beverly just lost it. And he goes charging after poor Chris Paul. He doesn't even see him coming. And just shut. That was a pretty hard yeah, shot. Yeah, it was. That was like a whiplash shot, right? Like getting rear-ended. And and that's just no class, low class, <laughs> right? And he but wanted then, he wanted to be gone, and he was gone, and he was literally gone because what do we say the next day? 
Jerry West is sitting there watching this, and he's saying, okay, that's enough Yeah, that. yeah, that's, that's right? classless. Okay. I mean, we're going we to we win with class, we're going to lose with dignity. Right. <laughs> okay, so he was gone from the Clippers, and I don't think they missed a beat with him this year. Right. Maybe a little bit of their edge, but but how many incredible comebacks did they have? And even last night, with eight minutes left, they're up ten points. Right. Well, you got to close that. Well, I don't think Patrick Beverly could have, if, if he'd switched uniforms, no. could he help close it no. for the Clippers? He no. doesn't do that. No, those, those uh, Edwards and uh, uh, D'Angelo Russell, they, they took the game. They, Skip, they took the game Big over. Shots. But they didn't have any choice because now we're not relying on Carl Anthony Towns. We don't have Cat. Mm -hmm. We're the only two guys that can create for ourselves that can get our own shots. We can get to the rim. Yep. We can get, uh, uh, both guys can get to the rim, and both guys can shoot the three. Yep. So they took the game over because they had to. But, Pat, but Skip, I, I look, you. you when someone it, like Pat Bev, Pat Bev came up through all these, the G League, I think I don't think it was the G League at the time, Skip. He's playing all over. He started in Greece. Yes. Then he played in, in Russia. All, all over the place, Skip. Ooh. So he, he had to display this kind of tenacity, this kind of exuberance his entire career just to land here. So it means something to him. LeBron, Skip, LeBron, Skip, LeBron's not doing, he's not jumping on no table. Uh, Steph Curry, Kevin Durant, guys that have been here, done that, that we have a level of expectation with the team that they're on. Yeah. They're not doing this. Yeah. But Pat Beverly says, I told you. Pat Bell pulled a Brandon Chastain, took his jersey off. The only thing, she circled hers around her head. He threw his in the stands. Okay. <laughs> Look, All you, right. was it excessive? He's screaming, yes. He's screaming at the Clippers bench, take the ass home. Okay? <laughs> yes. Well, that's the, yes. you would have done that too, yeah, of right? Of course, of course. Okay. All right. So, all that said, Bottom line for the quote unquote king sitting at home watching this, right. I, I'm here to make this case. Would you believe that Russell Westbrook is only about four months younger? He's about four months younger than Patrick Beverly, who's 33. Right. So, right now, you can say basically they're the same age. Right. Who would I rather have on my team right now? Seriously. I would rather have Patrick Beverly than Russell Westbrook. Right. After all the blooper reels I had to sit through of, of Russell Westbrook this year, I'll take Patrick Beverly over Russ. The one thing I know about Pat Bev, he know, understands what he is, and he understands what he isn't. I'm not so sure the latter guy understands what he isn't anymore. That is correct. And Pat Bev just flat out plays to his own strength. Yes. But, but he'll make big threes yeah. occasionally. I'll take him shooting threes over Russ any day. He almost, he almost got a, a, a shot clock three. He did. He made they, it. They, yeah, well, they, made sweet, it. He reviewed, they reviewed it. it but, Skip, like I said, I mean, this is Pat Bev. And why, should, why are we surprised, Skip, with the celebration with Pat Bev? Have, have we not seen him celebrate everything? Remember he knocked the ball out of LeBron's hand? Did, what did oh, he no, do? Wait a second. What I'm glad he, you what brought he, that he, up. <laughs> it was the last shot of a Christmas Day game three years ago. Do we have that? We might. I, I don't know. Oh, we do have it. Look <laughs> at this. Pat Bev just knocked the ball out of LeBron's Skip. hands on a last-second shot and knocked it off his dome. Knocked the ball off LeBron's head and out of bounds. Is that a way to end See? the game? Yeah, that's what I want to hear. I mean, is that yeah, the, that's what I want to hear. Is, it, hey, is right, that man. why LeBron tweeted? Was that the the, the no. basis? Was that the deepest motivation of that tweet last no. night, that, that he's trying to poke fun at a Pat Bev who got him good at the end no, of that no, game? I just think the celebration, Skip, that's, that's, that's a little over the top. Well, is it? I mean, that, yeah. Well, even you agreed it wasn't over the top under the circumstances. No, no, Skip, it's over the top. It's, not for the Timberwolves, not for Pat Bev, but you have to look at who tweeted it. LeBron. LeBron okay. has been to 10 finals, Skip. Okay. You think he, you think LeBron, let me ask you a question. LeBron James in the playing tournament or LeBron James in the first round, you think he's jumping on the table? Well, obviously not, but he's not even in the postseason now. Well, right? I mean, I think LeBron okay. did. I think he hit a shot against Minnesota when he was in Cleveland. Mm -hmm. To win the game, I think he had like 35 points, 17 rebounds, and no that turnover. Was on Jimmy Butler. Yeah, yeah, I think he jumped on the table. Did he? I don't even remember. I, okay. All right. It, see if I look. It's, it's look. It's all about circumstance. My problem is, is when a guy, I see a guy in the NFL, and every time he he does this or first down, I'm like, bro, you supposed to do that. Or a guy gets up and he makes a tackle. He like, okay. That's what annoys me. Okay. But Russell Westbrook, until this year, for the last five, he had averaged triple doubles. Yes. Unheard of. Right. Impossible. Right. Like inhumanly possible. Right. 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 And yet, what has he done for us lately? Uh, nothing. Right. Right? My he speaks like, do you know who I am? Well, my, we used to. Skip, my problem with Russ is, 
is that he feels he can celebrate. He can rock the baby. He can say you too small. But when somebody else celebrates, oh, I don't play that. I don't play that bleep. Man, don't do that. What? You remember he got mad? Oklahoma City. Yeah, he got mad because, whoa, whoa, at a, whoa. At a kid. Okay, you didn't want me to score. Why y'all trying to score? If the game's over, why are you trying to score? Oh, so the game wasn't over. Okay, I stole the ball. I dunked it. Because just like you, you could have just pulled the ball out and said, okay, we're going to shut it down. The last 25, 30 seconds, we're not trying to get off a shot. But you try to get off a shot, we steal the ball, I lay it up, and you're going to get mad? Yep. Man, miss me with this fool. Okay. Man. So down the stretch, to sum this up, the key to the game to me was that Patrick Beverly basically took Reggie Jackson out of the game in he the did. fourth quarter. He went one for seven, and he had a layup where he just got discombobulated. Yep. He left it on the edge of the rim, and it would have changed the game. And it was because Patrick Beverly had gotten under his skin. Look, it reminded you of somebody else missing a layup, huh? Oh, that wild hands? <laughs> yeah. Who used to be Russell Westbrook? Yeah, but yeah. not nah, Skip. It, it, look, that's, that's Patrick Beverly. There are certain things guys do that you expect. Patrick Beverly celebrating, Patrick Beverly making more out of every little thing that he does, that's what I expect for him. Mm. I expect him to, now I don't know if I expect him to take his jersey off and throw it up in the stands, Kim, mm. but am I surprised that he celebrated given that who he won this game against? No. Okay. My advice to your man LeBron right now is to show some humility and just be quiet on Twitter and let this thing play out. Just no, watch. No, like he, a fan. He, he, You're now a fan. He's going to watch. And guess what? Okay. And fans tweeted. Oh. Yeah. So he's he, tweeting he, like a fan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, yeah he, that's what he is. Mm. All these guys are fans of the game. I guarantee you, every single guy, no matter how great they are, they're watching mm. even if they're not playing because I've talked to a lot of them, from DeRozan to Dame. I'm a fan of the game. I watch the game. When I'm not in the game, I watch the game. Mm -hmm. Or I try to get to a, the hotel so and try to okay. catch the no, late I, game. I, I got it. But in response to LeBron's tweet, I think I'm going to tweet 10 straight just crying emojis because oh, it's so goodness. sad what's happened to Lagon. <laughs> they missed the playoffs, Skip. It happened. <laughs> it happened. Yep. Great stuff, guys. Great stuff. Either way, I'm sure that unfolded just how Chris Finch blew, drew it up. The T-Wolves <laughs> take on the Grizzlies in Memphis Saturday at 1.30. I'm going 1 Grizz. All right, moving on. Thank you for watching. You can subscribe here to get the latest from the show. And be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed or go watch a few other segments from our other shows on FS1.